Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today I'm going to show you how to change the Toyota cartridge style oil filter. Check the video description for the full oil change video. And so what we're going to do is take the end of the 3 8 inch socket that uh, d without a socket on it, just the wrench adapter or extension, and we're going to go ahead and break it loose. And this just spins off counterclockwise and it exposes these threads. So right now you're not going to have a lot of oil come out. You would put the factory tool up in here that comes with your new oil filter and push it sideways to release oil but today we're using our new tool and so we want to make sure it's unthreaded all the way on the red part before we thread this in so we're going to go ahead and thread the top part in and we're doing this by hand it does not need to use a wrench it doesn't have to be in very tight at all so we're just threading the black portion into our oil filter housing once it's uh, nice and tight then we're gonna go ahead and screw in the red part. So the red part is now gonna be releasing a valve. So we wanna make sure that that red uh, part is not screwed in when we're putting it into the filter. And then we have to loosen it back up again when it's time to take this piece off. So we're gonna go ahead and thread this in. And as you start to thread it, you'll see the oil start to drain down the tube. So uh, as it drains, and you will get a significant amount, pretty much what the filter would hold, uh, we're going to go ahead and have that drain into our oil drain uh, pan. So we're going to go ahead and let this all drain into our oil uh, catch pan here. And now when it comes time for uh, the tool to remove it, we want to remove the red part first. So please make sure you don't forget this part or you could uh, damage it as you remove it. So the red part comes off first. Now we're unscrewing the black part uh, out of the housing itself. Okay, next we're going to use this tool that goes over the oil filter itself, the oil filter housing. We're going to put our drain plug in momentarily. Do not forget that we still need to torque this down, but we're just moving our uh, pan over in case there's any oil that comes out. This tool fit perfectly. I was very happy with the fitment of it. It slid right on. And so as you can see, you just put your ratchet up into the top of it with an extension. Now, I did have to use a breaker bar. Whoever did the last oil change on this put the filter on very tight. So uh, it did break loose. And if you look, there is this little catch that's supposed to keep the oil filter from coming off on its own. So just make sure as you're removing this that you're watching that catch and it's not keeping the filter uh, from stopping. You don't want to break that. So we're going to go ahead and remove the entire oil filter housing here. And so now the entire housing will come down with the filter still attached to it. And as you see, it did not make a very big mess because we pre-drained it, which was really nice. So we will use a, a Toyota factory filter for this. It comes with the O-rings and the little tool. It gives us a guide on the side of where the O-ring uh, needs to go. So we'll go ahead and uh, go through this now. So inside the box, we have our little tool that we did not use because of our uh, different tool we were using in this uh, video. Here's our two O-rings, the bigger one and a smaller one. And here's the filter itself. So we're going to go ahead and take our oil filter and just pull straight up on it to lift it off and set it aside. Now, before we put the new filter on, we're going to change out the O-ring. So you can see it right here. It's very apparent where it goes, but it can be confusing. So we're going to take a pick and we're going to go ahead and remove this off of it. And now we're going to bring in our uh, new gasket and we want to make sure it goes right back into that same line. Uh, so we're taking some old oil off of the old filter just to lubricate this a little bit. And so just kind of move it around with your fingers, but try not to twist or bend this O-ring. We want it to be uh, not bound up or twisted in any way. So we're going to go ahead and fit this over the housing and we're just going to gently stretch it until we get it back onto uh, that notch where it came off of. So again, make sure you're not rolling it so that it gets bound up. We want it to as straight as it can go. And so we're going to go ahead and put that on and uh, just you know, make sure it is lightly lubed up. Now in the nose, there's another O-ring right here. So we're going to take our pick again and we're just going to reach right in here and pop that one right out. Okay, so we're going to take our new smaller O-ring and the same thing. We're going to slightly lubricate it just so it's not a dry seal. And then we're going to press it down into place. And it seems to sit pretty good in there. Now we can take our new filter and slide it right over the top. 
and you should notice a little spring action on here. Just make sure that it's been fully seated. Okay, from under the vehicle, we can just lift this right back up and start threading it back on. So on this, we wanna make sure that it's threading by hand before we put the tool on it. And once we're sure that it's going in the right direction, now we can bring our tool in. And we wanna be very careful with this. We don't want to over tighten it or break anything. So we just wanna get it uh, up there nice and snug and nice and firm, but not too tight. Next, we're gonna put our cap back on. And so we wanna make sure that it's threading evenly. And this, we do not want to put on very tight. Uh, you don't wanna damage it. And if you keep putting it on tight, it will start to move the entire housing. So we're just putting our uh, little extension end in there and just getting it uh, nice and snug. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please check the video description where I'll put the full oil change video as well as a playlist for everything else that I've done on this truck. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Thanks guys.